Hi, my name is Tim A. Deep and you're watching Analog Culture. Uh, good afternoon everybody, DJ Ndosi here on Analog Culture. Today we've got uh, Tim A. Deep. Team Adip, as some would call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> show me out. Hey man, how's it? I'm good, man. Welcome uh, to good. the show. And uh, I don't know if it's your first time in Cape Town. Uh, it's not my first time. It's not your uh, first time. Uh, thank, uh, thanks for having me. All thanks right, welcome back. Me. Welcome back to yeah, Cape man, Town. Yeah, uh, I'm sure you had fun yesterday. <laughs> ah, it was awesome, man. Epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get into that one. Uh, let, let, let's start here. Why do they call you, or, or why the choice of name Team A Deep? Uh, with the name Tim Ed, uh it happened that uh, they used to call me Tim Africa. So it happened that okay, I enjoy making. I mean, I enjoy listening to a lot of music. Like in terms of how I was generalizing the whole thing, electro, Afro, deep. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So I was so hooked with so many sounds, but I wanted to sound. Uh, like local so that's where the name team africa deep came through okay then but it was too long <laughs> yeah so people felt like no man tim you need to just come up with a way of shortening the name and that's well i said there and i was like okay how about i say team AD? but the problem is that i didn't put spaces on the team and the a and the deep yeah now yeah. everyone wants to call me to my deep time my deep <laughs> hey man like <laughs> <Time> <laughs> deep. yeah okay so, so the, yeah who is team a deep like uh, wh what's your name where are you from uh, how did your your what's your humble beginnings into this beautiful genre of ours yeah okay uh to me deep uh full names i'll say my mom and my dad uh, named me Tamba Obed Kubek. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I was raised, bred in San Fontaine, a village called San Fontaine. Okay. In Northwest, uh, uh, at the, what do you call the city? Uh, Rustenbeck, oh, Platinum okay. City. Yeah. yeah. yeah representing. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, rusty Dusty. There, yeah, Rusty Dusty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I grew up there. Um, that's where the whole Tamba Kubeka like life began as a musician. Yeah. But he didn't realize that he can even go beyond what he expected. Yeah. Because the first love of music came uh, when my mom and my dad used to play their music, their records. Yeah. Used to listen to their record, but I had to find something that I love. Yeah. Yeah. That's where now it took a shape of uh, like bringing up this uh, Timmy Deep. Yeah, yeah, what it is yeah. today, so yeah, I've been inspired by a lot. Like growing up, listening to a lot of music, yeah, yeah, yeah like and maturing around the sound, also, it played a big role in uh, me becoming who I am today, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what would you classify your sound that it falls under? Would it be literally deep house, would it be soulful Yo. house, <laughs> or are you one of those diverse? DJs. Yo, my sound is, is it's, it's for me, I don't feel like I have one sound or a, a specific uh, sub-genre. Yeah, yeah. But you know people, how they maybe listen to your music and be like, okay, uh, when I listen to this song of Timmy Deep, it sounds like it's Afro. When I listen to this song of Timmy Deep, it's deep. For me, I like, I'm more into uh, studying a sound, designing a sound finding adventurous sound like finding something weird and making something out of it yeah yeah so yeah. that has always been me ever since i had that laptop uh, uh when i started producing 2015 like i wanted to invest something that uh it hasn't been reached out to or uh, like even though i started with imitating yeah yeah, yeah. first yeah. of all i started with imitating other people's work but in the long run, you start to adapt to making your own thing. As much as you can want to sound like a jazz, but you can't sound like a jazz 100%. You're going to pick up two, two, two or three tricks, but not all, not all of it. Yeah, so that's yeah, how yeah. Uh, my music has been progressing and growing. And what's funny is that the more I I, put, like, I, I stay on the studio, like 
busy there on the computer i always come up with new things that i don't even understand what yeah. i'm doing but what i love is that oh i love the sound yeah so yeah. if i'm happy with that even my audience will also enjoy what i'm bringing to them yeah 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 of course of yeah, course yeah. so uh, uh, now looking at you starting out in 2015 and obviously you reckon the influence came from the records that were being played in clean like yeah, at home yeah, yeah, what yeah. were what type of sound was it uh my mom she was a gospel person so she used to listen to gospel music so i would really come a little uh, like those joyous celebration music there yeah yeah, uh, yeah. And then we have my dad on the side my dad used to listen to jazz yeah uh, yeah soul and soul and ballads something uh, r&b yeah yeah like yeah this type of sound so i had to do sound but as i grew up uh, now we're growing up uh, you listen to radios they're playing some of the best songs that you've never heard of or sometimes you see an advert for example then that's when i first came across the sound of harrison crab like wow what is this yeah this yeah. is good music then that's where i fell in love with music and what's funny is that it's a long time ago like 1999 or 2000 yeah when yeah. i started listening to house yeah but when i tell people about this they'll be like hey bra, that means you're too old most well. <laughs> and at the time i was young man i was young yeah. i didn't know what was happening for me i fell in love with music like i wasn't people's people like uh yeah yeah like i always liked my space yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, i grew up that way all right so here you are 2015 after listening and enjoying this concept and realizing what is you've got access now to create yeah. your own personal type of sound take us through what happens from 2015 to your first release uh with my first release um actually i had records that i didn't release i tried to submit on certain label i uh, got rejection some were like they were ignoring me something like that yeah yeah didn't lose hope i kept on going yeah and i started building this like the, this this idea came of uh how about i make a mix mixtapes yeah that's where different tempo came to life yeah. actually different tempo at first was different tempo sessions yeah then i started figuring out that no man i need to be unique i need to bring something cooler to the people then uh as soon as i mastered the production level that's when i went for different tempo pod tapes yeah so i started promoting my own work playing 100 yeah. my own work on the uh different tempo pod tapes yeah if you can listen to even pod tape number one it has only my sound yeah but number two it has okay international music that i was influenced to like that i was influenced uh that influenced my sound actually yeah I put it that way because yeah like i had a lot of inspiration from a lot of people some yeah. i can mention some i can mention like your your big names like DJ Fresh man they they play a big a big role in my music uh, build up I did mouse yeah, they played a yeah. big role in my music uh Daft Punk they played a big role steaming also was there just that normally I forgot that oh they were steaming yeah yeah because yeah. steaming comes comes a long way yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. these people man you like you you study their sound you listen to them and they you start to begin to see that oh there's patterns here of the sound that they're doing yeah but even though the genres are not the same like as they uh, separate them like oh subgenre 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 yeah that's why i started figuring out studying music that oh there's electro there's afro there's deep house there's soulful this yeah 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 so what was your your your, your first release my first release i don't even remember <laughs> <laughs> that's like yeah, that's weird i don't remember but uh i dropped at jones uh jones family record one of my friends that i met uh, he stays in rustenberg yeah but we met through facebook so he was still busy with his studies once he was done he came to pretoria yeah to pursue more uh, more of his studies then that's where he opened the record label yeah uh then from there yeah man uh he took one of my records and said man let me release some of your stuff there man, so that you can grow and yeah that's where we like we took it from there i so, know like uh, just that I, i don't remember the eps i wish i could say oh this is the ep this is the ep and what's funny i was checking them right now a moment ago by the time we were at uh, uh my brother's place yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so now the question is uh, how much music like if you had to count track for track how much tracks do you have 
that are released, li- let alone the ones that are not released on label. Okay. So okay. if I go on track source and I go, team team A D. Oh, my catalog is a lot, man. I've, I've like, <laughs> I've did so many mashup of sounds. Yeah. In, in this in this long run, and let's not forget also I was part of uh, Godfather's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound. So like, I've read so much music out there, man. Like, yo, some of the music surely you guys. Yeah, no, no. We know who you are. We know you. We know (laughs) you. Yeah, so, (laughs) like, I think I've did tons, man. Uh, It's more than thousand. Yeah. It's more than thousand. Uh, I can't can't give a specific number, but I've crossed a thousand. Yeah. Imagine last year. Last year with the, as I've told you, uh, we were talking about direct purchases, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so with the direct purchases, imagine last year, I made a record of, uh, starting from January till now, to... Produce tracks monthly. Yeah, that I'm able to sell them directly. Yeah. So I was doing packages. So imagine if you can produce ten tracks every month. Yeah. For the whole year, even though, to be quite honest, some of the the months I couldn't produce the ten tracks. Sometimes I would hit eight or nine because of eight. I would collapse sometimes. That hey, I can't now. Yeah, I can imagine the yeah, fatigue. I'm, eh? Yeah, I'm killing myself here. What am I doing to to do to, to my like? you understand so even though i wanted to keep up with the brand of team 80 because of the brand deserve to be out there yeah. yeah so what i'll do is i'll come back to this because it's a very interesting one of the music being sold okay. um out of the norms of putting it through labels okay. and then okay. onto platforms yeah. what i want to dem- jump into now is is the experience of being a godson uh, uh it was it was a, a great moment like it uh, it okay uh, how they approached me, uh, like I was overwhelmed. Yeah, uh, I was happy to become something, part of something. Yeah, because as I've told you that uh, I've grew up with rejections, so I just I like I wanted to put my work out there. I wanted to be known. Yeah, yeah. Even though the journey of building a brand, it just it doesn't it doesn't snap happen like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that, like it takes time. You have to you have to grow that tree. Like you you have to grow that plan. Yeah, yeah. At some point, one day, it's gonna give you the fruits that you want, but it takes time. Yeah, yeah. M- m- maybe it's a matter of oh, some of us were misinformed as to how the contract of being a godson works out. So initially, it was a case where you, if you're a godson, you only produce music for the Godfather's albums, mm-hmm. and then your music gets mm-hmm. released there. Mm-hmm. But what were, did you guys ever get any credits to say this track was actually produced by Team A Deep? Uh, actually, in that form, the agreement was reached. Uh, okay, for for with me, I don't know with other people. Yeah. With me, it was reached verbally. There was nothing restricting us. Yeah. But yes, um, the agreement was reached uh, according to the godfathers and the godson that oh, uh, you give us uh, this certain portion of music. Yeah. And then you get you getting paid monthly. Okay. Okay. So it was our agreement then. Uh, for me, it, it like it it seemed uh, it seemed solid. Uh, everything was was okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Also, it was a great lesson to be part of the movement because of it has teach me quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, because in that case, then for for if you're releasing as Team A Deep, you register music with Samro and all yes. the other entities. Okay. Basically, you've got mechanical rights coming to you, which is your royalties. Basically, let's say all your royalties yeah, are coming yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. Now you're released with the Godfathers, and the music is dubbed the godfather's tracks right with whatever particular name they gave yeah you reckon they paid you monthly now yeah. when it comes are you still part of the god sons uh at the moment i'm independent you're independent, independent but now uh, being independent do you still receive any payments from the music that you've released with them no no so no, that's no, done the, yeah so it's that's basically the, the, the yeah, agreement the relationship, yeah and but uh for me that's what i'm saying that also it was a great lesson to be of the movement yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. give or take bad or not but like what's what is important is that you learn something of course through this of course. chain of, of music course. sadly some people they got in, themselves into bad uh, uh, contracts yeah i feel bad for them but uh, with me my journey i've tried to stay far away from uh restricting uh contracts because yeah, now yeah. you can't be 
independent flexible yeah, yeah you can yeah. you can't do anything without being told that no do this do this i know yeah a lot of people yeah, uh, like to say this thing of no uh legends know the way they, they know how to uh explain the music and that's how it works but to be quite honest sometimes let the kids also uh explore explore because that's where new inventions comes yeah yeah because yeah. you try to tell me that i should do tech and i should totally stick to tech because it's a culture that was created a long time ago yeah. how about i shaped it fuse it with the soul yeah. or fuse it with an afro to see what comes out innovative yeah of course music is, is, is an art form and basically you don't paint the same picture you understand so yeah that's why also we used to get the challenges whereby they would reject your songs because your song is not or maybe the how can i put it it's it's moving away from their vision yeah they yeah. don't have that vision yeah, of that yeah. sound but when are you already two years ahead yeah of course your sound is two years ahead of them so they'll realize later oh damn this is the, the sound that we were looking for yeah no i get you i get you most probably you guys were producing i mean if you're and making 10 tracks a month currently yeah. and so, selling them independently i mean obviously then you would have been making more back then over to this 10 tracks a month concept so basically you're releasing 10 tracks a month yeah. and you're selling them independently yes, yes outside true. of um yeah, distribution like, outside uh, of i used to call it sort of like a, a black market type uh, <laughs> uh business <laughs> whereby you you outside the, the market zone where a lot of people like uh i don't release on record labels yeah it doesn't get released on record labels like it's at the big as i've told you that i had problems with rejections yeah, yeah so i had yeah, to find a you. way to survive yeah and also there's the reason being i used to support one of the brothers back in the days uh to mention few walter edward uh, i used to buy music from those guys yeah and I yeah used to enjoy their music so later on when i started mastering this whole production thing i started realizing how about i saw this music yeah by the time i didn't have customers yeah that. yeah yeah then came this one brother of mine uh, uh so so for socks so yeah yeah if i still remember him from rastenberg he introduced me to this other guy called uh tibuda yeah so what tibuda did tibuda used to just drive uh from work to somewhere from work you understand so yeah, yeah. he used to just um pick up people make cash you know, on the way you yeah, yeah yeah so with that money you would spend it on me and be like compared to what do you have there on your catalog because i love your music yeah so yeah. i need to support you i feel like you deserve to make money out of this yeah and that's when i started knowing that oh people want to support this work let me put this into uh that right idea that black market type of situation yeah and that's when now i began to sell the music but by that time i didn't join the godfathers oh yeah so i didn't have the power of uh, look, i didn't realize that i can do this monthly i used to just make randomly maybe a week i could make 10 tracks yeah, yeah. or uh, i mean two weeks yeah yeah and as time goes on the godfather i like i got i went to the godfathers there so the experience at godfathers it was like yeah it has that it, it had that pressure when yeah. you felt like oh shit, i have to drop uh 10 tracks every month yeah. and now you're under pressure because of you want the money at the same time you have to bring up the good content yeah so of course you have to balance yeah of bringing good music like don't get lost because some people with uh with music and money some they get lost they end up not making good music anymore because of now they focus on making money instead of doing it for the love yeah yeah they're yeah. lost yeah because now they want to eat so that's why it got to the point of after uh uh i left the movement started my independency of uh doing direct purchases yeah selling my music directly making some sm- i mean uh, mashups bootlegs people were enjoying those stuff so yeah I yeah selling them start, start selling them directly so that's how the whole thing uh thing grew and like rapidly like right now everybody would be like m- m- like a month uh, uh, monthly people come at me that hey, mv2 is the 25 now we need the music man yeah yeah you have new stuff there and i have to check hey guys i won't be able to deliver 
or I'm going to need to leave. So with the whole situation whereby I was going through a lot back in the days there, 2021. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot that I was challenged with. So I had to come up with ways of making money and I have to work hard. And have like I, I've reached a point whereby I, I once reached a, 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 a what is it? A producer's block where, where, where what do you call it? Uh, like when like when you when you like you, you like you you're overworked man yeah you're overworked yeah, like, you yeah, it, it, it is a producer's block yeah. yeah producer's block yeah so it it took me three months before i came back yeah and then when i came back that's when i hit that crustacean crustacean uh remix yeah remix yeah and that's where it picked up and that's when i saw that oh shit uh, my music just uh hit waves and people are loving it corner to corner people were uh, contacting me on whatsapp calling me hey bro we need to get that remix man how do we go about that yeah 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 and yeah. the certainly part that i, str- I tried to reach out to crustacean to 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 to, to, to um, crustacean as well as the mutu swings yeah uh, a duo to help me out with the release but i couldn't find anyone to help me with that until i found out later that oh actually most of these songs they are trying to also avoid the the old cultures because of remember like you like you know man, like the classics yeah most of the the, the 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 era of today people are sampling man. people are making money out of sampling sound yeah, yeah even yeah, though yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a yeah. bad business in, in such a way because now you're gonna get sued for doing that yeah but um people are making uh music out of sampling because of People adapted to you won't get into groups. trouble for this. I will. <laughs> I know. I will. You want me? That I have to mention <laughs> some few things just to teach people in this life that uh, what's happening in this game. Yeah, and yeah. How things move, move. around uh, this world. Yeah, maybe you should uh, get that sorted out, eh? Uh, one day we will reach out. Just that the sad reality is that uh, at the end of the day, if uh, you won't get that spot where you want to be. Uh, you'll always remain at one place. Of course, of yeah, course. So now, sometimes you need to challenge yourself <coughs> in order to shake, shake. The, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, how's your relationship, no funk? Mr. Funk. Oh man, um, good relationship so far. He loved my work. I mean, he loves he loves my work so much. Yeah. So yeah, he reached out to me last year. Just that uh, the time he reached out, he. He wanted to have a uh, strong again on his uh label yeah sadly already the other guys would uh, uh the other label uh, took them who um, took who, who took that ep um damn i don't know why i have to forget about this label now Shit. i know so, you've got a whole lot of things in the candy yeah, beans like, as well uh, there's yeah. a lot in mind because yeah, my mind always uh, always like it's always busy yeah i can, but, I, can uh, I can mention the name of the brother who's, uh, who, who, who's behind the record label, the record label. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah he goes by the name of dj zoo yeah yeah man uh, he's the one also who put me out there who helped me to, to to see a lot of things that are happening in this game yeah so yeah like um i'm grateful for 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 like like meeting meeting a lot of people have taught me a lot uh, actually yeah, yeah, yeah that's why also i like to tell a lot of people that timidity brand is not about myself alone yeah it's bigger than what i used to think yeah 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 how is the business side of things when you sell your music through direct independence uh, for instance obviously you're selling your music through a person will contact you and you'll sell the ep directly yeah, yeah, to them yeah, yeah. how is that side of business working out for you so far i've been able to survive off it yeah i've been able to to, to like take good care of my, myself and my family so far so yeah. good. i'm happy with it 
But if well, I uh, also want to take adventure on releasing music and uh, maybe also have a stable record label where I know now that uh, you can push your own stuff. Yeah, because yeah. as as you've mentioned that now uh, using other people's stuff, it's. It's, it's bad yeah well it's not really bad as long as you've got the the access to the thing, it yeah. yeah the thing is that when it comes to clearing it it's it's, it's, it's a process some yeah. they reject you some they won't reject you yeah the okay. point now it, uh, it comes when the music is already out there for yeah. example like crustacean so that's when i realized that oh damn i uh, the way things are in the music industry sometimes you just need to build your brand taking advantage of some situations then later on when you see your brand is out there now you start to say okay now i need to work on my own sound yeah i need to invent something unique for the people yeah this yeah. comes from team ad i can imagine we, we, if, if it's out there it's out there if it's big it's there's big. the thing there's nothing once you can you do it to one person yeah if it's out there it's out there <laughs> obviously <laughs> it belongs to everyone now <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> teammate deep how do you so now with event wise I, yeah. I i find the way you're conducting business very fascinating in terms of it's not your your conventional business ways man you know people want to get on labels they want to release their music but you're actually making it without actually traveling that route you know mm-hmm. you're pushing your music directly by yourself is platforms like bandcamp working for you uh, I've never tried it, but I've been been introduced by a lot of guys to, to try camp. it. Yeah, and yeah, I do want to try it. Just that uh, I wasn't good in terms of uh, you know when you have to go to paperwork, reading some stuff. Yeah, like I wasn't like for me, I had like I was focusing on perfecting the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't realize also oh, I need to understand the business side of music, um, how to make money without having to go through uh, a whole lot of things yeah. yeah so that's what i'm saying with me it became a different route where i started enjoying what i was doing yeah but at the same time uh, i needed to just adapt to hey i need to be out there and people need to i mean the music needs to reach out there now i know at the end of the day now that um if i can produce a song yeah uh, today and just release it or sell it it's gonna play on a lot of clubs at the end of the day. Why? Everybody wants to have the piece of that song. Yeah. They want to feel uh, like they want uh, to, to feel that. Uh, how does it feel when I play Timidip songs? Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I've received so many uh, positive vibes in terms of uh, people having my records and playing them to the people. Like people appreciate some. They would say that I got tape rap because of your music. Yeah, yeah. So I can imagine. Uh, <laughs> uh, so someone yeah. was explaining today that someone was crying while yeah in the front yeah, face of dancing yeah. there. Also, I didn't YouTube. see that yesterday. Man, like I was zoned <laughs> yeah. into uh, playing good music for the people, so I didn't realize them. Uh, yeah, someone yeah. was crying. People were emotional. Like I'm actually hoping to grab the footage so as I can put it at the end of the interview. <laughs> just how it looked like yeah i'll grab yeah, i'll yeah, grab yeah. it before i leave so now what is the way forward for team uh so far so good team ad um is pushing like he's aiming to bring out about uh like i haven't dropped an album but people are saying that i've been dropping albums yeah <laughs> yeah but for me i don't feel like i've dropped an album yeah uh like now i i want to drop an official album where i give people what what belongs to them yeah yeah so because mm. with 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 the ones that i've been uh, doing monthly i feel like with those ones it, it has been for a certain usage yeah but now i need to bring an album it doesn't matter the person buys it or it doesn't because of also we're struggling with the piracy so far so good <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you're looking so far it's so good that yeah, we're dealing like, with piracy <laughs> we're dealing with piracy of course of yeah, course man, it's messing us up but there's nothing you can do there's nothing you can do this yeah reality yeah yeah that's so that's what i'm saying uh for me so far so good i'm happy with my career how i've been pushing yeah where i am right now and that's what i'm saying uh for people who are expecting uh music from team ad there's a lot coming this year just uh i'm busy building relationships and trying to make sure that uh everybody that i'm working with we we bring something that's it's going to change other people's life uh 
it's gonna impact people i mean people in a positive way in a positive way yeah, yeah. Yeah, so in terms of the album, what is the album going to be? Are you looking at collaborating? If so, with who? Um, what can we expect from the album in terms of sound-wise? Mm, with the album, it has a few of soulful, uh, electronic music. Yeah. Uh, I would say minimal as well. Yeah. Uh, in terms of also featuring people, like uh, I haven't reached out a certain people, but so far so good. Um, Jezwell will be on board. So far we spoke last time. Yeah. Uh, I spoke with New Time Soul as well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot of uh, people, to, like to a lot of um, music producers and vocalists. Yeah. Who are willing to dive with me on this album and also i forgot to mention ecstasy yeah yeah, yeah ecstasy also is looking forward and buddy nice also just yeah. uh, texted me uh, recently saying that I, I need to be part of that album because this will be my first album so i need to see what i'm gonna do but i'll be dropping two albums this year the one also i have to drop this other one with uh milk d yeah uh, i think you're familiar with the name milk d so also uh, we spoke about it, we sat down, and it seems like it's going to be a good adventure for us to, 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 to like build this album. Because uh, we saw that when we fuse our sound, something great uh, comes out of that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two albums for the whole year and EPs most probably. Yeah. All right, so now... Actually, with the EPs, I don't want to I don't wanna say much because of so far. Already two uh, two EPs has came. Uh, actually, one has came out. Yeah. The other one is following. Uh, one has came out. A stay true, which is musication. Yeah. EP. I'll be dropping also the other one at Bush Doctor Records. Uh, I can't mention the name at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, but so far so good. Okay. Okay. Things are looking good for for, for the music releases. So, so we're also expecting the album to come out on one of these uh, big labels. So or far, with are my, you gonna my, do your my, own? my solid album. Uh, I don't have a specific label so far. I don't want to mention so far. So you're shopping. You're basically you're shopping for a record label. That can yeah, at least to get the right deal. Yeah. And I know that at the end of the day, I didn't waste away my my, my effort. Yeah. Imagine yeah, having yeah. to build an effort, I mean an album. Then later on, when you drop it on the label, you don't see any change or uplift. Yeah. To, yeah. To your yeah. Brand. So I need to put it where I know that this thing. Uh, it's gonna work out for me yeah yeah so for the second one actually with the with uh, milk d that one also we haven't decided but so far we do have multiple uh, record labels that we need to work with yeah and we're hoping that they can appreciate the, the work uh that we're gonna bring you're gonna bring yeah well <clears throat> what is your contract I, your ideal contract look like for instance if you're going to release an EP, an album. What is your ideal terms that you're looking for? I.e., are you looking to keep 75% of all the royalties to yourself or are you going for 50-50 spaces between you and the label that takes your music? You know, at some point, sometimes when you come across labels, you, you want to own your masters. Yeah. But some labels, they restrict that. They yeah. They would yeah. like to take all the masters and keep them to themselves. But here's the thing. For me, uh, when I dive into a contract, I would appreciate if also the music can also sustain my children in the future. Yeah, Not yeah. only me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm building for the future instead of myself. Even though, yes, at the moment, also I'm still surviving of there and there. Yeah. I need it to sustain also uh, my children. Your children. It's going to help me out there. Yeah. yeah, I know you're you're a very busy yeah. man, Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's killing me now. I want to put it on the silence. Yeah, yeah. They're looking for you, man. You gotta go play gigs. You gotta yeah. go do Just things. Just the interview, please, please. Yeah, go report there. Yeah, yeah. Interview. Uh, uh, so another thing I wanted to inquire on was, if you 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 you're looking at owning your own masters, right? In in in, I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah. The climate, music-wise, currently, you have by the piano. Yeah. So a whole lot of focus. It's not that the other genres don't exist in this country; but they do. But the big chunk of your attention yeah, is sitting yeah, yeah. on e e e piano. Yeah. Um, 
in your in your continuation of of your music are you looking at jumping into that bus to say let me release a couple of albums and eps for the purpose of just you know sustenance in essence or or working yeah. or is it something you're going to you oh. also for a person who's adventurous, I would say yeah. Yeah. I would like to try something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because myself, um, as I've uh, t- uh, told you, I'm more in- into uh, designing sounds, uh, exploring sounds that I don't know. Sometimes taking even a weird sound that oh, I didn't expect this sound would fit in into house. Yeah. That's how I enjoy try it out. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, being innovative with uh, playing around with the sound. So, so far, so good. Yeah, I would like to try. Uh, I'm a piano, but so far, so good, man. It, it has been changing. Yeah, yeah. Like, from what we, uh, the piano that we used to know. from It's something it is, else man, now, it eh? keeps on evolving. keeps on evolving, so... Yeah, I, I, I've yeah. heard a couple of mashups on the Deep House side of I'm a piano vocals, yeah. or piano tracks. Yeah. I've seen a couple of DJs that actually throw one. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. the one he does with Msaki yeah that track just <laughs> it's, it, it, it heals it heals so yeah. it's a track I've played one and once or twice because I'm feeling that track on a big note yeah. so I, I, I presume uh, who's this guy Musa Keys mm. Musa Keys mm. is also doing Musa he's doing some stuff that, that doesn't necessarily they call it a private school piano yeah. But it sounds like soulful house, man, to an extent. The yeah. the, 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 the the programming of the music, uh, the keys in the music. That's it's got true, a soulful element that actually just blends in nicely with uh, what we render as soulful house. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's true, yeah. that's true. Um, <clears throat> future plans? Oh, let, just let's dive into <laughs> this one. How do you... Uh... I've been communicating with uh, Leighton Moody for quite a while. Yeah. Leighton Moody reached out to me probably last year or is it either last year or 2020, uh, 2021. Yeah, yeah. So I can put it like... Yeah, specifically, sure. yeah, yeah. yeah. So he reached out, man, looking for the song and I was like, yeah, yeah I, I do have it. And yeah, send it through. So ever since he's been in touch with me, yeah, uh, yeah. purchasing some music from me directly. Yeah. Uh, till yeah, till he reached out just January and said, Man, I think I might plug you on something, but I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. So, we were, like, we didn't have even a specific date. Oh, okay. It, yeah, it was just the a first, matter of, yeah, like, I think the first was the second week of February. I say, Man, uh, how's your 20, uh, 26th uh, look? And yeah, I said, yeah. No, man, I don't have anything from that uh, date. Yeah, so if you have anything coming up, let me know. And I said, No. Like I need to get you on the date. Yeah, yeah. Way. Then yeah, ever since came in and rocked it. Yeah, man. Letting, yeah. Letting Moody as soon as he invited me, bro. Like ah, yesterday, yesterday was history. That's all I can say. Yeah. Like, Is it one of the myself. biggest that you've done? Uh, so far, uh, I rank it. Uh, I rank it with Deep Time Josie. Yeah, yeah. They, they all in the same level level yeah yeah because uh, other places when it comes to deep house uh they don't adapt to every every sound yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Sound. it's like they want to be specific yeah listening yes yeah yes. yes. where's so, that kind of crowd uh, there's some places where only deep house is served and then the people they appreciate the sound like you would see in the, the faces the vibration, yeah. the, like the expressions like yeah these people are connected to the sound yeah, it's another feeling, eh? Man. <laughs> it's a very deep spiritual <laughs> feeling, that one. Yeah. Going forward now, what are we expecting? We've got two albums coming up from a teammate deep. Yeah, yeah. We've got... So it's the two albums. We've got a bunch of EPs coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, merchandise? Yeah, I've been pushing merchandise. Actually, I've been pushing merchandise. Uh, so far, so good. The business is coming all right. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, just that uh, I have a lot of work in, 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 in my hands, so I can't manage all, all the stuff, man. Like, I, I do try. Yeah, you know, my yeah. WhatsApp, you, yeah, like, uh, I have to respond to people. Sometimes I would even usually apologize to people that, hey, man, so I couldn't come through. I want to make sure that, uh, uh, like you guys, 
get the best and then uh, also respond you on time but sometimes i can't yeah you're overwhelmed uh, now, uh, yeah like uh, i'm packed with a lot of stuff that i have to work with work on musically i have to collaborate with people making remixes and as well i have to sell merchandise yeah yeah i have to go to gigs yeah like it's, it's just a lot yeah so I can sometimes imagine. when you explain to people maybe they feel like oh this dude uh he doesn't want to respond as he feels like he's a celebrity or something and it's just a matter of the amount of work you understand yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you don't understand that hey this guy's busy yeah we'll check him yeah yeah yeah, yeah. is that the only You're going to be taking on people from the newer generation with newer sound and putting them on. So far, so good. Uh, uh, I played a big role into a lot of people's lives. Yeah. Uh, of which I didn't also realize until maybe they, uh, until they told me that, oh, Tim, bro, man, uh, your sound has inspired me. Your sound has shaped me. Yeah. Bro, Tim, open a record label. We like to release under your label yeah and yeah i would yeah. tell them at the moment but i still um, prefer to be independent yeah until what um, whatsoever happens that okay let me open the record label and then let me see who i can sign or let me see who i can work with yeah because sometimes also once you take people under your wings it's your responsibility to take good care of them of course if you don't yeah things end up bad now yeah there's going to be bad vibes al- uh, along the way. Yeah, it's something yeah. that no one wants, eh? <laughs> yeah, you know, nobody wants that. All right, Tim. Where do we catch you on social media? Uh, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, at Timidib. Everything is at Timidib. All right. And for the people that want to do private purchases of your music, that is, do uh, they inbox you on your socials or... Yeah, some they can inbox me on my socials and also I have the digit if... You don't, uh, you don't mind me to yeah you can throw it out there okay it's zero seven two double three zero five triple one that's where you can reach out yeah yeah all right uh it was a pleasure meeting you sir ah, thank uh you. Thank you. <laughs> most probably i've got a friend in in rusty dusty soulful okay. apollos okay um when i come through to see him we'll come up and check up on the album uh, no maybe have a chat about the album if yeah, it's maybe out some listening session as well of course of course which is uh, the <laughs> yeah. best thing ever man to hear the, the fresh stuff before they come yeah. out <laughs> yeah man thank you very much for coming on analog culture i ah, appreciate you, your time thank you. thank you for having me uh, and uh yeah looking forward to your future endeavors and your future work thank you hashtag pa Woo. <laughs> <laughs> <Out>. <laughs>